Hello, I am Sunil Divaikar with you uh, with a phase diagram. Let's try to solve this question to understand the phase diagram better. The question here says a lead tin alloy of composition 30 weight percent SN, 70 weight percent PB is slowly heated from a temperature of 150 degrees Celsius. Now the SN here means tin and the PB meaning plumbum is lead. We are talking about a lead tin phase diagram. As you can see on the y axis here is a temperature. So this is going to be temperature in degrees Celsius and on the x axis is written composition weight percent SN. So the number that you see here 0, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 80 up to 100 represent the percentage of tin. The percentage of lead obviously is not given and it will be the difference from 100 of the SN percentage. So when we talk about a 30 weight percent tin, that number is here. So we have here 10, 20 and 30. I have written 30 here. So 30 weight percent tin. This means that weight percent tin is given 30 percent. The remaining 70 percent is obviously lead. The temperature has been given at 150 degrees Celsius. So at 150, this is 0, 100, 50, 150 actually 200. So from 150 we draw a line and this is the starting point of the alloy. So they say with reference to the phase diagram given above, at what temperature does the first liquid phase form? We note that when the heating is taking place, increasing the temperature will let the temperature hit 183 degrees Celsius. This is the eutectic temperature. And at eutectic temperature, the first liquid that starts melting out will have a eutectic composition. So the temperature, as they say, at what temperature? It is 183 degrees Celsius. What is the composition of this liquid phase? The composition of this liquid phase, it will consist of 61%, 61.9% tin and the remainant is lead. <coughs> so the lead here is 38 point one percent right then at what temperature does the complete melting of the alloy occur so when we follow this line wherever this line hits the liquidus line that is the point that we are looking at and from that point we drop a perpendicular on the y-axis so here we drop a perpendicular on the y-axis. This is that point. And when you draw a perpendicular on the y-axis, this point. Now, how do we obtain the temperature at this point? To do that, we need to understand the scale of the graph. So the scale of the graph here, as you can see, can be obtained by measuring the distance of 100 degrees Celsius. So we have here the distance of the 100 degrees Celsius point from 0 at a distance of <coughs> we talk about temperature this is 26 mm for every 100 degrees celsius right so since we are interested in this temperature we measure the distance what is the distance the distance here is 68 mm so what will be 68 mm that will be obtained when you cross multiply and divide. So we'll have 68 multiplied by 100 divided by 26. And therefore, this amount to 261.5. So this is 261.5 degrees Celsius. That is the temperature. This is the answer for C. So 261.5. And then the last part says, what is the composition of the last solid remaining prior to complete melting? Now here, the last solid composition can be obtained by dropping a perpendicular from the point here. This is the line that is intersecting. This is the liver. This is touching the liquidus line. This is touching the solidus line. And when you drop a perpendicular, from that point onto the y-axis, you will 
get the composition on the x-axis so when you draw a perpendicular line like this so we draw a line which is 90 degree and when you measure that distance <coughs> that distance works out to what 15 mm so we know that this distance is 50 mm 1515 mm but what is the scale here at a scale here we note is this is 12 mm for 10 so here when we talk about percentage 10 we note that there is 12 mm distance used for every 10 percent 10 and since we are interested here in 15 mm distance the answer is going to be 15 multiplied by 10 divided by 12 and that works out to 12.5 when you multiply by 100 this works out to 12.5 percent so here the answer is going to be 12.5 percent tin and the remainant is lead so lead is like 87.5 percent pb so all the four questions are answered that's it we're done thank you